Well, hello, 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 and welcome to Vlogist. We're talking day 30, people. Day 30. Tomorrow is the very last day of Vlogist, and it is bittersweet. <laughs> it's going to be wonderful, yet a little sad at the same time. But at least I have pulled through. I cannot believe it. Well, I can because all the other ones I've pulled through that I've done, but it's hard. Anyway, um, I'm feeling much better today. So um, I'm feeling good. I'm knocking on wood. And yeah, I'm excited to just hopefully put everything behind me. Um, so today I went to the post office and picked up an application for a P.O. box because I um, closed up the UPS box that I had. And um, so I just picked up that, the application and brought it home and I'll just, I'll fill it out and maybe Friday I'll go in and turn in my application. It's a lot longer of an application than the UPS store, holy cow, it's like, you have to have all this ID and stuff, proof of address and things, but anyway, so of course, Dollar Tree is right next door to the post office. That's going to be a, a good thing sometimes and a bad thing sometimes. Today was okay. So I just bought a few little things and I'll show you what I got. All right. Well, first of all, here's my application, so that'll be nice. What size box should I get? I don't know. I don't know what size mine was at the post office. It was just called small. I mean, at the UPS store. Um, I don't know. I'll probably go with number two. I don't know. Maybe number three. It just depends. All right. So... At Dollar Tree today, I was pretty lame, but I bought these Chanel stems that I don't need, or they're called tinsel stems. But look, they're so pretty. They're Halloween-y, and I've seen these before when I've gone in, and I've just never gotten them, but I just love the colors. This is like a mint green and purple, and then this is a nice harvesty one, mint green and orange. And a nice other Halloween-y one, which is kind of mint green, sort of turquoise blue and black. I just, I don't know, I just, it screamed Halloween and fall time, so I picked them up. Because you just never know. I just, I do use a lot of this stuff to hold things down for holidays, so it's all good. And then look at these cute stickers. These are felt stickers. And I did have two packs of these in my cart, but I was good and I put one back. Has nine stickers. I just think they're adorable and I love the green accents. Ugh, they're adorable. And then I saw these and I happened to put some back as well. But aren't these so fun? These are just little wires, little wired embellishments and they have this size and then they have these little size, this little size. So you get nine in this little one and six in a big one. So I bought two big and I just bought the one little. But you know what? I'm gonna make magnets out of these and stick them on my fridge for Thanksgiving. Oh, will they not be the cutest? Oh my gosh. I dare say they will be adorable magnets. So I got those. And I will say I picked up some of the fudge mint cookies because I haven't had any in ages. It's been months. These are just so good. For, for shizzle, you guys, they're so good. I've said it before and I'll say it again. They are 
just one molecule away of being an actual Thin Mint. They are amazing. They are so, 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 so good. They are so good. You don't even know. You will know if you go and pick yourself up some. So, yeah. And I only bought one box. And my Dollar Tree was stocked. But I only bought one box. And then I... This, these two things were the first things I threw in the cart. These are real melamine. I know they've sold real melamine stuff many times, but a lot of times with these bigger trays, they're just kind of plastic and um, they melt, like if you put something hot on them. So I got these because I do a lot of shish kebabs, you know, like meat kebabs and vegetable kebabs. And I'm always looking for long or just big, huge plates to put it all on. But these will be nice because they're nice and long and it'll be easy to put put my meat on and my veggies on. Like here are my um, skewers that I use. And so, you know, they'll be snug as a bug in a rug next to each other when they're full of vegetables like zucchini and mushrooms and stuff. But, um... This is what I need. It's perfect. And I really like the color. It's just black and white plaid. And one time I put this, I we took these off of the grill, a shish kebab, and I put it on a Dollar Tree platter that was not melamine. It was just plastic. And then the tip burned and melted the, the tray because, you know, it was plastic. So I was really excited to see these. So I got, I got two. Love them a lot. And then the last thing I got was some more of this microwavable stuff. I think I have one of these. And I don't know if I have this size or not. I don't remember. But these are really, really great. And the lids stay on nicely. They're microwavable. That's why I got them. And you can keep casserole, leftovers, or whatever in them, soup, and then put them back in the microwave. I just, these are really nice. So when you get them, make sure you get the lid to go with, because sometimes the lids are just in a separate pile. And yeah, you don't want to leave without the lid. So anyway, that's what I got today. So I need to get, I'm just going to wash these in the sink and then... Put them away. <sighs> Here's what's left of the Pepperidge Farm chocolate cake. This is so good. It is so good. I can't tell you enough. The frosting is so amazing and light and fluffy. It's not heavy or buttery or too sweet or goopy or greasy. I don't know how they make their frosting, but it's to die for. It's just so smooth and light. Mm -mm. I don't know about you, but many times when I have cake somewhere, especially like a grocery store cake, I don't want the corner because it's just nasty frosting. But on this Pepperidge Farm stuff, I always want the corner. It's just, I could eat a whole bowl of this frosting just for breakfast. And this is how I sit and eat my cake. Actually, this is Daryl's cake. <laughs> mm -mm. But this is how I eat it. It tastes better that way. Look at all that goodness on the foil. Anyway, it's amazing, you guys. If you haven't ever tried one and you like chocolate cake, oh my goodness, please go get one. They're like $5. At Walmart, they're even cheaper. I think at Walmart, they're four. I'm not sure. 
Okay, this is my last bite. Mmm! Mmm! Another thing I wanted to show you is um, this is by Yankee Candle. It's just a flyer. You know how we always get Bath and Body Works. But this is a flyer for their Halloween candles. And a lot of people have smelled their Halloween candles, but I have not. And I just want to tell you, they have scratch and sniff. I am serious. So this is called Witch's Brew, and it's strong. This smells straight up like cologne, well, musk. It smells straight up musk, but it smells okay. It does, it smells like a witch. I don't know if I could handle it though. I think it'd be really strong. I'm not a musky type of gal, it's not my thing, but it would totally remind you of Halloween if you got it every year. And then, where's the other one? They have a banana toffee one. This one, you have to scratch really hard. There's like no scent to this really. You can barely smell it, but I don't know. I don't think I smell any feet or chips in it, so that's good. And then they have this scratch and sniff blood orange pumpkin, and this smells so nice. Oh, this smells so good. You can smell orange and maybe some clove. Oh, it's amazing. I think it's a wonderful idea that they put the scratch and sniff on their flyers because Bath and Body Works sure doesn't do that. But yeah. And look, you've got little candle holders. I don't know, are these candle holders? Yeah, they're little votive holders. But um, anyway, I just think they're all adorable. And I wouldn't mind having this candle and giving it a, a try. And they gave you coupons, just like Bath & Body Works, so you can buy one, get one free candle, car, and home fragrance. Um, $20 off your full price of $50 or $50 off $100 or 40% off one full price item. So yeah, I just think that is flipping awesome. Oh, and look here. Cute, right? Look at that cute hand and it's got a black nail polish. It's like a skeleton hand and it's got a little eyeball ring on it. Anyway, I, just, I thought this was a fun, fun little piece of mail to get. Oh, and by the way, we still have this mess going here. Uh-huh. I did wash this blanket, though. Look at that nice purple blanket. My mom got us these for Christmas one year. Here's a nice deep purple one. And then over here is a nice chocolate brown. Who are they by? She got them off of QVC, and they're super heavy and nice. Um, can't remember the brand name. Oh, Dennis Basso. Oh, yeah. These were nice blankets. And so I washed the purple one because I thought, well, I'll put the purple one. I'll drape it across here because it'll give like a Halloween flare, you know, purple. Um, I put this blanket here because it hides all the scratches that the cats have made over the years. <laughs> I mean, it's like really bad. But it's the price you pay. I don't know if that's a Momo scratch or a Lola. I don't know. I don't know what all of these are, but they're love scratches. That's all I can say. And I don't mind that they're there. Because I love, that's the price you pay when you love your animals. Um, I've got scratches all over. but um, So I was going to maybe put the purple one here as part of like the Halloween decor. But for now, I just put it over there. And I think, oh, I did add Mr. Skeleton up top. 
I think I've named him Skelly. Or maybe I've named him Scully. I don't know. I can't remember. Me and my baby are just relaxing. She's so precious. Oh my goodness. I love her so much.